you, if you guys were willing to match the energy and the intensity that you gave at today's exercise, that it'll change your whole life. Would you believe it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just imagine. Imagine if you just decided to take 1% of what you get from TGIM and apply it to your life. Because the reason why we invite you here to this place is not just to work you out. It's not. It's to show you that you matter. That's the most important thing. You matter to us so much so that we will show up and we will deliver. All you got to do is come. Half the time, you got to just show up. You know, you already know it. You set your alarm clock and some of you guys are planning out the time. Like, all right, all I really need is like 13 minutes. <laughs> and you wonder why you late every day. You didn't plan it, you got it to the T. I need 13 minutes, I can wake up, run, brush my teeth real fast, throw my clothes, it's already laid out, I'm ready to go. You give yourself no time to even think about what you're happy about, what you're excited about, why life is great. You give yourself no time. I've seen it happen time and time again to people. <coughs> the biggest mistake they look, the biggest mistake they make is that they don't, they don't appreciate the things that they have. And then the moment you don't have nothing is when you all you can think about is those conversations you could have had with your friend, those conversations you could have had with your 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 family, those conversations you could have had with somebody that you love. That's all you're going to think about. I promise you. And let me tell you, I'm not here to make you sad. I'm just here to show you that you got to think about those things today. Because when my mother passed away, all I could think about is all the times I got in trouble as a little kid. I was like, dang, why did I, why did I get in that dirt? She told me not to. That's all I could think about. It took, and I cried for years, you guys. It took me a long time to realize my mom is not concerned about the times that I went and jumped in the dirt and got in trouble. I'm sure she's just glad to see her son now be a great person on this earth. You understand? It took me a long time to realize that. So what I'm saying is stop looking at the things you don't have or stop not appreciating the things you do have. You're here. You're at TGIM. Nobody's judging you. We don't care what clothes you got on. We don't care if you was able to wear pink today. It doesn't matter to us. What matters is that you showed up and you gave it your all and you worked hard. Even if it was just 1% of the time you worked hard, at some point of this workout, you pushed yourself. Maybe not the whole thing, but eventually, guess what? Eventually, if you keep coming up, you keep coming here every single time, you keep showing up, you're gonna get better. This might've been your first time. And you might've said, whew, that was difficult. <laughs> Some of you guys have been here, yo, like 100th time, and you say, whew, that was difficult. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's not about getting easier. It's about who you become along the way. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Who you become along the way is more important than how easy it gets. Because life is never going to get easy. Never. Y'all want to know the secret? Yes. Yeah. Life is not going to get easy. <laughs> no secret. The only thing is when life comes at you, it's all about how you handle it. That's what makes it interesting. Like I tell you, somebody tell me something about myself, they say, style, you might want to work on this. My initial thought is like, man, forget you. Then I go, but I can get better. I just, ooh, let me take that. Cool, let me take that. And I go home and I sit it down and I'm like, all right, maybe she's right or maybe he's right or maybe my mentor is right. Maybe I should take a little bit of what they just said. Because, ooh, I can, I can just feel myself growing and getting better. Surround yourself around people that make you uncomfortable. It's so true and just watch what happens to your life. Your friends that are like, look, if you ain't doing nothing with your life right now, let me tell you, and your friends are okay with it, you might want to change your friends. <laughs> you just might, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make anybody upset here, but you might want to just change your friends. You need to get around those people that say, hey, uh, you was playing Call of Duty when I left. You playing the Call of Duty when I came back. <laughs> and you wonder why you ain't got nothing. You might want to stop playing Call of Duty, or you might want to get off Instagram or you might want to get off your Facebook and go out and start living your life and really making an impact and really doing something with yourself. You might want to do that. Is it hitting anybody in the circle? Yeah. Y'all know somebody like that? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me, but it's okay because the only thing that we expect you to do is show that person that they matter to you and tell them the truth sometimes. And don't apologize about telling the truth sometimes. Come to this workout, work hard, give it all you got. And I'm telling you, nobody can judge your effort here at TGIM. You are part of the family.
whatever size, shape, background, and I'm going to push you. And some of you are going to be mad at me. Like, why is he yelling at me? Oh, I'm yelling because I care. I could just let you slide on by, but no, uh-uh. You need to get uncomfortable a little bit more. Because you've been doing the same comfort for like years now. It's time to go a little bit more. I'm going to stretch you a little bit more. And then you'll go home and be like, man, he always picking on me. You need that in your life right now. It's the ones that's like, it's cool, just keep hanging out, don't do nothing. Man, stay away from those people, okay? And if you are that person, change it today. Look, I be riding through my old hood, but I'm in my new whip. Same old attitude, but I'm...